When Emily arrived in Africa, she never expected to find herself in such a situation. Emily and her friends were met by a guide from the airport. It took them several hours to get to the hotel. The jeep tossed and swayed from side to side on every bump. On the way, the guide talked about the area and repeated several times that it was better not to go into the jungle on your own. The tourist looked at the trees around and suddenly noticed a large, dark spot. The shadow began to move towards Emily. It soon became clear that this was a huge gorilla. The animal was clearly unhappy with the violation of the boundaries of its territory. The monkey's face was distorted by a grimace of anger. Sharp fangs protruded from his mouth. Suddenly, the animal shook its head and began to approach again. Emily jerked to the side, but pain shot through her leg. She remembered the main rule when meeting a bear, pretend to be dead. Emily lowered her hands and lay down on the ground. She hoped that the gorilla would quickly lose interest in her. Emily closed her eyes and tried to breathe as quietly as possible. Soon a sniffling sound was heard above Emily. The animal walked around Emily in a circle, sniffing carefully. The gorilla touched Emily's arms and legs. When it touched her injured ankle, Emily could not hold back a muffled groan of pain. The beast immediately withdrew its hand and then abruptly threw Emily over its shoulder and dragged her somewhere. Everything inside Emily broke down. She decided with horror that she was being dragged into the lair to be eaten for lunch. At this moment, Emily regretted her lack of preparation. She had no idea what gorillas eat and didn't even do any research on the fauna before the trip. There was no question of resistance or escape. Therefore, Emily grabbed onto the thick fur on the animal's back so as not to fall to the ground. The gorilla dragged Emily into a small cave and threw her to the ground. The girl hit herself painfully, breaking the skin on her knees and palms. She immediately turned to face the animal and pressed her back into the stone. Emily tried to become small and inconspicuous, but she could not press her injured leg. However, the gorilla didn't care much about this. The beast settled down near the entrance to the cave and watched the rain. The animal did not approach Emily and did not even look in her direction. Emily stirred. Without waiting for a reaction, she decided to escape. Emily knelt down and crawled towards the exit. It was painful and uncomfortable. She focused on the unpleasant sensations, so she did not notice the gorilla's rapid movement. The animal suddenly appeared in front of her, bared its sharp fangs, and let out a deafening roar. Emily's blood froze in her veins with horror. The powerful muscles of the animal rolled right before her eyes. Emily understood that she did not have a single chance against such a strong opponent. The gorilla pushed Emily on the shoulder, driving her back to the wall. As soon as Emily returned to her place, the animal calmly settled down at the entrance and again stared at the wall of rain. At that moment, Emily was struck by a hunch. The gorilla was not attacking, but saving her. The beast took her to a safe, dry place and is now protecting her. Who knows what predators are roaming nearby? They won't go up against a gorilla. This means that no one will touch Emily. Then the girl breathed out a sigh of relief and remembered about the phone. She reached into her backpack under the curious gaze of the animal. The phone, like the entire contents of the backpack, was wet, but Emily tried to dry it. The device flashed a signal. Emily breathed a sigh of relief, dialed the rescue service and explained the situation she was in. She was asked to stay where she was, keep her phone on and wait for rescuers. The gorilla watched the conversation with interest, but did not show aggression. Emily wanted to somehow thank the animal. She took out her food supply and handed it to the gorilla. It looked at the bread with disbelief. Emily broke off a piece, put it in her mouth and chewed it thoroughly. The animal realized that it was being offered food, took the treat and immediately crunched on the snacks. A few hours later, Emily was found by rescuers. By that time, the fear of the gorilla had completely disappeared. When the beast turned towards the girl, Emily just threw her backpack over her shoulders. The animal lifted Emily onto its shoulder and carried her out of the cave into the clearing. The gorilla moved away and then quietly disappeared between the trees as soon as people appeared nearby. The relief and gratitude Emily felt towards the gorilla were overwhelming. 
It was a powerful moment of connection between two beings in the heart of the African jungle.